uh, hi uh, today I will introduce some software we can use for learning BUC uh, the first software is uh, Swin BUC engine uh, it's already running with the with this software uh, we can replace a real BUC from cement uh, I will introduce some uh, view about uh, this software uh, with this software we can config the IP address of the POC uh, this is the IP address we can uh, choose type of the POC and uh, on this uh, interface we can see the less stand for the status of the the POC like TC5 uh, volt uh, run or stop uh, status and uh, this is the let for the status of input and this is the let for the status of output and here we have the this section we can see the analog input uh, signal and this is the analog output we can uh, configure the address of the analog input the trunk of the analog input the default value of the analog input and same to the analog output and with this software uh, we can connect directly to a semantic manager and with uh, this thing it can replay totally uh, with PC sim of uh, win of uh, semantic manager here I got the uh, hardware configuration I has I have config uh, PUC 314 to PNTP same to uh, the configuration on this uh, simulation software and I will try to download to uh, the simulation BOC and uh, one thing we have to uh, take a look you see the IP address of the BOC we have to config same to the IP address on the simulation software here the yeah, software we config on Cinematic Manager and this is the software on the simulation BOC okay and then uh, I will try to download to the BOC lot uh, here you see uh, same to uh, I connecting a uh, drill PUC download it yeah as you add uh, change the status of PUC from stop to run and then you see it run service uh, I will try a uh, sim simple program uh, to check uh, how st is the simulation software working. Uh, one input and one output. And zero point zero, we zero point zero, and the lot to the simulation BOC. Uh, check it online. Okay. Uh, change the status from 0 to 1 and the outputs come to uh, high level and change to 0 and the outputs come to low level uh, I will try one more network uh, I will try for i0.0 and qi0.1 and download it uh, to the simulation PLC again uh, I will try to uh, change the input here you see here nice you see uh, with this simulation software I, I had a good visual uh, a good view on the simulation I can see uh, it's uh, you see it's very familiar to the BOC uh, like drill BOC 
as one one more software I will uh, one more software I will show on this video is ITS PLC ITS DD is simulations in 3D for an um, automation system with this software we can uh, touch on the item on this, this software uh, we can have a 3D view I will go to uh, the second camera yeah uh, here we have sensor for this system uh, the actuator you see it's the motor uh, or the convenor of the system uh, the best thing of the this uh, 3d system is it can connect direct directly to uh, the simulation uh, PC here I will show you when I change this uh, squeak to oh, <laughs> I will stop you say it's safe uh, I change this uh, squeak to auto or manual you will see this input will change its uh, status you take a look on uh, I want upon three yeah you see it's channel level from low level to high level and uh, same, same to uh, the star button. Yeah, you see. Yeah, this is star button is for it is connect to I one point four and same to the sensor. And so the sensor. You see, this is uh, connect to I zero point zero. Okay. I will try to cry a s program to this system. Here we have two convenience. The first convenience is connect is connecting to V zero point zero. I will try to run it on manual mode. You see, uh, the convenience is running, and uh, the ETEM will come out. This convenience and it's go to the the end of the convenience and will defect <laughs> by the sensor the sensor will uh, see the convenience uh, moves the item past the sensor and the sensor will make the second convenience uh, will run okay I will try this program we have uh, the first convenience connecting to Q Q uh, zero one zero and the, the next is connecting to Q uh, zero one one. Okay. I go to a semantic manager. Uh, first we push I one point four. This is star button. This will uh, set zero point zero and and th the sensor will set to three zero point one okay and when I press stop the stop button is connect to the stop button is connect to yeah it is normal close I 1.5 okay I 1.5 will reset both convenient <sighs> okay three sets for quiz zero on one two and I download this to the POC uh, r remember this is a simulation POC and this is a simulation software on 
the system I tried to show you only simulation. We don't have any hardware on uh, this video. Okay, I will see it online. And I run uh, the buses. Okay, I press on the start button. Sensor. Okay, the next. When I press stop and start again, the sensor. Yeah, you see the next convenience is running. Yeah, the system is running like uh, the program we uh, have already cry on Symmetic Manager. Okay, stop it. And uh, you can cry the next to finish this system. Yeah. I want to show here is with this uh, software we can learning uh, automation uh, tr learn how to write a program on the PLC and uh, see how it work on the real uh, real life and one small thing is is with this uh, simulation PLC we can connect uh, directly to the SCADA software like Win PLC. Uh, WinCC or uh, WinCC Flexible or TR Moktoto. I will show this on the next video and see you. Thanks for looking. Uh, thanks for watching this video.